Hi, I'm Ben Hageman, one of the owners of American Pressure, and today we wanted to go over a little bit about pump oil. It seems very simple, but as you can see here, I've got a nice collection of various manufacturers of pump oil, and it is important to know what you're doing. So, one pump I've got here is, is a general pump, and uh, it's one of the common pumps out on the market. Got a dipstick. One question I often get is, do I use the dipstick to check the oil? Do I look at the uh, sight gauge that's on the on the side or the back of the pump, what's the best way to do it? I think the sight glass is the best way because it's easiest to see. The dipstick is also easy. When you use the dipstick, wipe it off, put it back in, don't thread it in, just dip it, and then look and you want to see a little drop of oil right there on the bottom of that dipstick indicating there's oil in the pump to that level. That drop uh, will match up with where the center point is on the pump. Now, when the pump is rotating and moving, the oil is splashing around and lubricating various surfaces. So if I'm turning the pump this way, you can see the connecting rod going down into the oil and causing it to splash. That's the ideal rotation for most pumps of this style. That splash of the oil helps lubricate more. With rotation in that direction, you want to fill to the middle of the dot. If the pump was rotating the other way, the lubrication of the pump's not as good. The oil doesn't splash the same way, and you don't get quite the lubrication. So we overcome that by increasing the pump oil level to go halfway between the center of the dot and the top. We'll just basically submerge that dot fully. Now, I get the question once in a while too, what happens if you fill the pump too full of oil? Well, a few things can happen. Uh, one, you could start to get oil coming through the vented, vented um, oil cap there and that can make a little mess on the top. But the real mechanical reason you don't want to fill the pump too full is to do with the oil seals. This area has good lubrication, and if this were fully submerged in oil, the oil would be full and there'd be no air to let expansion and movement happen, so you could damage that oil seal or cause oil leaks. So one question to ask yourself if you've got a failed oil seal is, did you put too much oil into the pump? that can give you premature oil seal failure and damage those things. So the ideal pump level is to the sight glass dot or just a little bit submerged if your rotation is the opposite direction. You can look at a gas engine to see which way things are turning to make that determination. But when we're, when we're going forward here, we need a little more oil, we want the splash. You gotta maintain the splash. So we've got various oils here. Um, this particular pump would be very happy with the ISO 100 series. It's a 15W, uh, a 15W40 motor oil, same kind of thing. In the pump oils, you're going to see more additives to handle lubrication and water in the oil. Get better life out of, out of the pump and everything else. Now I've also got the series 220 here, which is a thicker oil. So some of their larger pumps are heavy, heavy um, environment pumps. You want to go to a little bit different oil to overcome the environment you're in. Sometimes in cold, cold climates with cold starts we've gone to synthetic oils with a little bit lighter weight when we're underloading the pump oil in a little bit. Point there is if you're not sure, you're not using this term a standard way, give us a call. We'll go over your application, see what oil we should recommend for you. Sometimes this pump would be great with this oil. In rare cases you might need to use it with this oil, a little bit thicker, and in other cases you'd, you'd probably even want to go to a really thin oil if you're in a really cold and underutilizing the horsepower here, like a 5W uh, weight synthetic on the low side for better startup. Now, there's brands of oil. General pump oil is great. In a lot of the Italian pumps, very, very similar to what's used in AR and some other ones. And Cass got an ISO 68 oil. It's a little thinner oil. Their lubricating surfaces are a little bit lighter, and um, they, they flow better in keeping the crosshead areas and so forth lubricated properly with the cat oil. You put this oil in a cat pump, you might not like the results or probably avoid that oil in warranty. Um, we also stock uh, Landis pump oil, premium 10W40, um, got the additives and so forth in it. Uh, work good across a lot of the different Italian pumps, including the Landa pumps. And then you'll notice I've got some Karcher oil set here. They actually have a wobble plate pump, and you'll see that they've got a 15W40 and a special 90 weight, single phase, three phase. A little more industrial, a little heavier weight. Single phase motors, a little lighter, lighter way the way the oil works, and that. So we've got a lot of choices of oil on our shelf, 
and I've just touched on the surface of it here. Call us at American Pressure. We'll be glad to help you answer your technical questions on pump oil to make sure that you've got um, no risk of downtime because you're using the correct lubrication. Now, that covers what oil to put in, but when do you put it in? A good rule of thumb is after your first 25 hours of use, it's time for oil change. So after 25 hours, drop the oil, put fresh oil in, and then on a belt drive pump like this, probably every 500 hours after that, on a direct drive pump, every 250 hours. Take a look at your oil. You'll see it if it starts to look milky colored. Uh, there's water in that oil, change it right away. See if you can identify where that water is coming from. Water could be getting into your oil by dripping on the pump manifold here, getting in, there could be a crack in a ceramic. You could be getting it in from humidity in the air, like kind of like dew on a windshield. You get a little moisture coming into the oil bath. That'll drop down and turn your, your pump into a milky colored oil. So you keep on top of that, keep your pump well maintained, and we're glad to do that work for you so you don't have the headache and hassle and risk of, of not quite doing it the way you want it to. Give us a call today. Thank you. American